How's it going everyone, my name is Cyrex and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to tell you how to farm the goon squad on every map in Escape from Tarkov. I should probably mention that you are not really able to farm them like other bosses. Simply because they are wandering through lighthouse, shoreline, woods and customs all the time. And also seem to have a very low spawn rate. Maybe we were able to pinpoint their current location in the future. But for now we have to be very lucky or very unlucky if we happen to run into them. This simply means that even if you are trying to go for the goons every raid, it can take you several dozen raids before finally meeting them on any of the four maps. But if you do run into them, this guide will prepare you. To be able to kill them easier, you need to understand their behavior first. Starting off with Knight, Knight is the leader of the goon squad. He coordinates the actions of the entire group and specializes in assault operations. Bird Eye maintains distance between him and the enemy, setting up ambushes and choosing positions with a clear line of sight to the area. The third goon squad member is called Big Pipe. He prefers the grenade launcher and serves the role of massive firepower in battle and always rushes towards the enemy to reach combat distance. They always maintain contact with each other and the other rogues by radio. If one of them spots you, all three of them know your current location. As mentioned previously, Bird Eye maintains distance with the enemy and chooses to take positions with a clear line of sight. In almost all raids, Bird Eye was the one that spotted me first, even from more than 100 meters away. Bird Eye is by far the least dangerous of all three when it comes to a close quarter battle, but on a distance, he is definitely the most dangerous of all three. Lucky for us, he is not the most accurate sniper. I noticed that he misses his shots from time to time or just goes for lag matter. But he is instead able to spot you almost every time you are in his proximity. Knight and Big Pipe have pretty much the same behavior. As soon as Bird Eye or one of them spot an enemy, Knight and Big Pipe rush towards it. In almost all of my raids, Knight was the first one to push me, and a couple of seconds later, Big Pipe followed him. When Big Pipe is using his grenade launcher, he tends to behave more defensive, but eventually also begins to push you. It is also possible that he is not even spawning with the GL. Instead, he is equipped with a shotgun. I've also seen Bird Eye rushing towards me, especially if the other two are dead and I started looting them or just stood still next to their bodies. But most of the time he will just stay in cover somewhere else. What equipment should you use to kill them effectively? In my raids the gun type that turned out to be the most effective for me was any sort of assault rifle. It doesn't really matter if it is capable of shooting in full or just semi-auto. And other than that, any SMG should also get the job done for you. For ammo you should be able to use almost everything that has at least a bit of pen and flash damage. Especially if you're only going for headshots, you don't need to run the best ammo. Of course, the best ammo will kill them quicker and also shred their body armor if you're not going for headshots only, but it is not necessary. For your helmet and for the maximum protection I would recommend running a helmet, preferably with a visor and an ear cover. It is also doable without a helmet and with any other helmet in the game. And as an armor or armor trick, you can pretty much use anything that protects you from bullets. I wouldn't recommend you to run something that protects your stomach, simply because you give the AI an extra unprotected limb they can shoot at. And at least, I would rather lose an arm, a leg or my stomach instead of my chest or head. Okay, now you know the basics of their behavior and what equipment you should be using. But how can you actually kill them without getting blasted by Big Pipe or one tap by Bird Eye? Before we talk about the different strategies to kill them on each map, there are two basic rules you should be following before trying to fight them. First, you should go for headshots only. All three goons wear at least level 5 body armor and no helmet or face cover. Knight has his mask on, but his mask is only level 1 and can be easily shot through. Especially because you do not have a lot of time between Knight and Big Pipe. And spraying all of your bullets onto their body armors is simply not worth it and will probably end deadly for you. The second rule is to not fight them open field. Instead you should lure them towards you by putting their aggro on you. 
No worries if you don't understand this yet, I will explain it in detail for each map later on. And another thing that I should mention is that you should really debate if you want to just kill Knight and Big Pipe or if you want to also go for Bird Eye. Bird Eye is by far the hardest of all three if you don't know his location. Going for him is extremely risky and even if you use all of my tips, you're still taking a high risk and probably end up being shot. Let's start off with the easiest map to fight them on, Customs. On Customs the goons spawn somewhere between Stronghold and Crackhouse. Your best bet is to enter Crackhouse from the river side. If they aren't already aggro on you, you can go up the stairs and run by the windows until bird eyes start shooting at you. Lay down or hide behind cover, regain stamina and run down the stairs into the first room on the left and close the door. If they are aggro on you, Knight and Big Pipe start pushing towards you and into the room. Now you can simply spray them through the door or wait until they are inside and tap them. Also make sure that the goons are only going to enter crack house from the metal stairs next to it. They lead directly into the second floor. Now you have two down and one to go. If you are lucky, Bird Eye will also start to push into your room in crack house. If not, he's waiting outside in cover for you to come outside. It is up to you if you want to challenge him or just want to loot and scoot back towards the river side. If you're going for him, make sure to use your grenades and the grenades from Knight and Big Pipe to get Bird Eye to reveal his location and keep him on the move, running away from the grenades while not being able to tap you. Now track him down with the grenades while pushing from cover to cover towards him. Bird Eye is absolutely cracked sometimes, but usually if you're close to him he should not be able to tap you. You can also wait for a scav or another PMC to take Burda's aggro to pinpoint his location and push him. If you're not spawning on the river side or just want to go to Stronghold to kill them, your best bet is to run into the small room as shown in the video. Make sure that you're always near cover while pushing towards Stronghold to avoid getting killed before even arriving there. Also notice that Bird Eye and the other goons can also already sit inside Stronghold. Now simply pull their attention on you by running besides the entrances. Run back into the room as soon as they aggro on you. In my case, Bird Eye was already sitting in Stronghold and Knight and Big Pipe already started pushing towards it. Now simply wait for both to arrive and shoot them in the head. Let's talk about Lighthouse next. The goons on Lighthouse can either spawn around the warehouse to the north of the water treatment or around the resort area. The water treatment can be very hard and tricky, especially for bears. If you push inside the water treatment from the south and run directly into either of the doors on each side of the warehouse, you are safe from the other rogues and have enough time to kill the goons. As always, if they are not already aggro on you, throw nades or run by the doors to trigger them. In my case, I already saw Bird Eye sitting next to the door that leads to the main area of the warehouse. And with him dead, the other two goons were triggered and started pushing me. You can also use the door method, just like on customs, or simply wait, listen from where they are coming from and shoot them. If you only get to kill Knight and Big Pipe and Burda is not pushing with them, use the grenade technique to reveal his location or just run off with your new acquired loot and be happy. The other spawn location on Lighthouse are the houses around the resort area. The best locations to fight them there are the two bigger houses. Especially the big resort house with the sauna inside worked out the best for me. To get there, either push towards the resort from the northwest, southwest or from the east side. These three sites seem to be safer than all of the other ones, but there is still the possibility that one of the goons is standing on the west railing and immediately shoots you. Or if you're coming from the east, it is possible that Bird Eye starts sniping as soon as you make your way to the house or down the mountain. To prevent that from happening, run into the open, back again into cover and start clearing the way towards the top, just as I did in the clip. Inside the house, the goons are probably already aggro on you and start to push you. In my raids, none of them entered the house from the outside and all of them just came into the bathroom from the inside. You can use the sauna area to give yourself a small time window to reload 
or take a necessary stim before one of them is in your proximity. After Knight and Big Pipe are dead, either run away or chase Burr down using your or the other goons grenades or simply wait for another PMC or Scaf to pass by and get info about his location as soon as he shoots them. Next up on the list is Shoreline. On Shoreline the goons can only spawn around the weather station. The best way to kill them there is to push the mountain either from the east or the west side. In most cases you will be instantly spotted after you reach the top of the mountain. It is very important to run to the top and almost instantly run back down into cover. If you're being spotted by them and they start shooting at you, get ready to fight Knight and Big Pipe. I would recommend to not peek around a stone, tree or something else with just your head while fighting them. When doing that you give them just your head to shoot at and if they are just a bit faster than you, they will definitely want at you. Repeat this strategy for a second time if you get only pushed by one goon. It is also possible that Burda is not far away from them after they pushed you. And as soon as you kill Knight and Big Pipe, either run off into safety or try your luck against Birdai with your and their grenades. And the last map is Woods which is by far the most dangerous map when encountering the goon squad. On woods they can spawn between the scaf bunker and the container outpost area or whatever it is called. The goons are not restricted to this area, they can easily push into the village, to the hill on the west or towards Prepper's convoy. Burda is also able to spot you over a large distance and can easily shoot you from over 100 meters away. Now. How to kill the goons on woods you might be asking. To be honest I wouldn't try fighting them on woods. You can kill knight and big pipe but Burda is just way too overpowered on this mountain that provides him with a good overview over such a large area. The best strategy to fight them there depends on their position. In my best try on woods I got very lucky and all three were standing closer to the container area. So I took the opportunity and pushed it to the scaf bunker. From there it was pretty easy to take all three out, especially because Burai just pushed with them into the bunker. When you are coming from the west hill and they start shooting at you, Big Pipe and Knight are going to push you. Try to take them out and scoot with the loot. If they don't see you, you can try pushing towards the scaf bunker. After you reach the mountain, run to the top and instantly run down again, similar to the shoreline method. If they start to push you, try your best to fight them there. Take the loot and run with it or try the grenade method to get Birdeye out of his cover. If you are running on top of the mountain and nobody shoots or shouts, try to get into the scaf bunker and take them out from there. The other side you might want to push towards the mountain is from the abandoned village. This side is almost identical to the west hill method. Try to push towards the mountain and if they see you, wait behind one of the houses or inside one of the houses for Knight and Big Pipe to arrive. Take them out and run off with your loot. If you are lucky and nobody sees you, you could try to run into the container area and get inside the cabin to the north. But I wouldn't really recommend this simply because you could get wall banged. Burda will be still able to aim inside this cabin from a distance and you will most likely not be able to loot Knight and Big Pipe without risking a bullet from Birdeye. Another option is to road from the south but in all of my tries this ended up being a kill zone for Birdeye. You can also play slow and wait for another player or AI scaf to walk into the goons and push towards the bunker when they are busy shooting other players. If you're interested in the full raid videos of me fighting against the goons, check the description below with a link to every raid uploaded on my second channel. I really hope this guide helped you out, even if most of us are probably not going to see the goon squad as wipe. Thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed the video leave a like, subscribe for more, I wish you the best of luck on your future raids and I will see you next time.